Navasota was undefeated, but so was Argyle. In fact, the defending champs were riding a 31-game winning streak. The Rattlers struck first to jump out to a 14-0 lead with a couple of touchdowns, the first of which came midway in the first quarter when Shelton Epler hits future Baylor Bear Trendavian Dixon for a 32-yard touchdown pass. The touchdown pass was Epler's 68th of the year, tying the state record, but Epler wasn't through. Dixon already has the national record for most touchdown receptions in a season, but this one might be the most incredible. Look at the one-handed grab to give Navasota a 21-14 lead. But Argyle isn't the defending state champ for nothing. The Eagles go into their bag of tricks, and Drew Estrada takes the fake field goal in for a touchdown to tie the game. Then right at the end of the third, Cooper Rogers finds Hunter Markwart for a 36-yard touchdown to give Argyle a 28-21 lead. Argyle then was looking to put Navasota away late. But Jabrell Lipscomb comes up with the pick to give the Rattlers new life. And four plays later, less than a minute left in regulation, Epler marches in to tie things up at 28 all. It was his second rushing touchdown of the night, and a state championship game was headed to overtime for the first time since 2009. Then 225-pound Nick Ralston, who's an Arizona State commit, punished the Rattlers with 221 yards and 54 carries, three touchdowns, including this tough seven-yarder to give Argyle the 35-28 lead in the first overtime. Navasota responds with the Epler to Dixon combination to tie things up. And then in the second overtime, the duo does it still again for the fourth time on the night. It was Epler's 71st touchdown of the season, which is the new state record. And he also finished the year with 5,460 passing yards, which is the second most in Texas state history. But the defense still had to do his job. And once the Rattler D-line stopped Argyle on fourth down, the celebration was on. Navasota completes the regular season 16-0 and gets its second state title in three seasons. 42-35 is the final. We knew it was going to be a dogfight all the way to the end. One thing I'm proud of is, you know, from t once we got into the preseason, every Thursday of our practice, we went into an overtime period. But we wanted our kids ready for that first time you go into overtime. It wasn't a surprise to you. And I think all those weeks, you know, 15 weeks of doing that, got these kids prepared for that and pulled out the win.